Now, we've dealt with the domestic debt, so to speak, but the external debt is just about twice, a little over, twice the figure that we're looking at uh, for the local debt. How much of a, a constraint do you feel this is going to be in terms of securing an IMF deal, especially when Mr. President is telling us that, look, by close of this month, we should have made quite a lot of progress in terms of securing an IMF program. Well, I think it's, it's quite good for listeners to actually get to appreciate the scenario we are currently in. If you look at the external debt of uh, $29 billion, China, Ghana owes China about 40% uh, of those debts. So China is one of our biggest external creditor that Ghana will have to uh, deal with, which is uh, 1.7 billion. So with that sort of situation, if China doesn't really participate that much or join the other creditors, then definitely we might kind of hit a wall in that regard. But if you look at China, you know, China is part of the G20 country, but it's not part of the Paris Club members. So if you make a combination of all the other creditors who are willing to come on board, minus China, then in that case, we are going to have a particular issue. That, that, would mean, that would mean about half of what you're trying to deal with is not exactly. going to be available to Refusing you. Refusing to participate in that agreement. And the main issue here is that if you take a look at the G20 framework, you know, the the G20 framework comes, I mean, the debt structure under the G20 common framework comes with certain rules, certain structures, which China may not be willing to follow under these circumstances. So if you look at the whole issue, like my understanding is that China is willing to deal with government of Ghana on a bilateral basis. So China to Ghana directly dealing one-on-one -on, -one on its debts so that China could tell us what it will do with this debt instead of joining the other creditors on the table. So that is the options that we will be looking at. But if you look at this particular scenario, Ghana wouldn't be in a, I mean, in a very strong position to negotiate if it is just dealing directly on a bilateral level with China.